hello everyone welcome back to the course so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can use shopify cli and how you can install and use it okay so to know more about shopify cli you can search with shopify cli in the google then on the first link you will see the shopify cli for apps and shopify cli for themes so as we are going to develop themes so you will go to this link shopify cli for themes Now from this space you can read the features of Shopify CLI, what you can actually do with Shopify CLI and how you can use it. Then the next section is install Shopify CLI. So I'm clicking this. Now you have some requirement to install Shopify CLI. To install and run Shopify CLI, you need to have the following install on your computer. First of all, you must need to have Ruby in your computer and then you must need to have a git install in your computer then you can install uh, cli for windows mac os and linux so as i'm using mac os so i will go with mac os installation so first of all i need to open terminal so if i open my terminal cd So I'm creating a folder called shop theme. Okay, then I I would like to install the CLI. So I need to write this code gem install Shopify CLI. Sorry. gem install shopify cli so gem will not work if you don't have installed the ruby then gem will not work in that case what you can do is you can also use homebrew if you have already installed homebrew okay so i have some problem with this so what i can do is sudo gem install shopify cli i need to put my computer password okay so it's installed Now to verify the installation you can write Shopify version Shopify version so as you can see we are currently in 2.2 version so now what you need to do is from the left hand side you can click on get started and from here before you start there are some instructions that you can read then I'm going to install shopify cli that we have already installed for windows you can use this command and now we need to authenticate our store okay so to authenticate we need to write this code so as you can see there is a store called john apparel dot dot com in our case our store name is this one so themedev01 maestro.myshopify.com so i'm just going to copy this then i will open my terminal now i need to write shopify login dash dash store then i just paste my store url now it will open <coughs> in your browser and you will verify the login So you have successfully logged into Shopify CLI. Now you can close this tab and go back to terminal. Okay, so as you can see from here, 
for authentication issue and verify logout to clear invalid credentials so if you would like to log out then you can write Shopify logout currently we are logged in with this store now what we can do we can create a new theme or we can use an existing theme so as we have already a theme if we go to our store and themes then you can see we have refresh theme here that we customized and we are going to work with drawn so i'm going to publish this one publish okay so let's say i want to work with drone so i want to use this drone theme so what i need to do is So we can write something like this Shopify theme pool. So it will pull all the Shopify themes we have listed in our store. So as you can see, number one is drawn, number two is refresh. That the only two theme we have right now. And to download the theme, what you can do, we can press one and it will download the drawn theme, the first one. So I'm just waiting to download the theme, then I'll show you. Also, if you would like to create a new theme that you can do by initiating this comment as well so for now we are using the theme and I will also show you how you can create the theme as well so let's download the theme first so we have successfully downloaded our theme and if we open the shop theme folder that we have created and downloaded the theme so you will see all the files are here okay so that was using a custom using a payment theme that already installed in our store and now if you would like to create a new theme then we can create a new folder okay dir new theme the new theme okay now what do you need to write you need to write shopify theme in it then you need to input a name so let's say it's a theme dev so this is the name of our theme Okay, so as you can see we have created a theme by cloning from Shopify github directory now what you can do now we can test our theme by writing Shopify theme serve it's just synchronizing with this particular store so it will take some time let's wait
so I'll get back to this video after finishing this one so there is some problem with this theme server option as because we haven't uploaded this theme to the store so let's cancel this and now if you want to upload this theme to our directory theme directory like here we have two themes drawn and refresh then we're gonna upload our new theme that is theme dev so to do that we can write certify theme push now we have three themes here as you can see the drawn refresh and the development so the drawn and refresh already in our store and the development theme is not in our store so we want to push this thing so let's wait and to complete this push theme So we have successfully uh, push our theme to our store so if we refresh there still it's not showing now if we write shopify theme serve sorry So we can actually view our theme review from this here. Okay, uh, it's it's currently password protected. So to see the password, we can go to the preferences, and here is our password. We can change it as well. Now if we input this password here, one two three four five six. So this is the store, store font. So this is basically how you can uh, create a new theme or use the existing theme with Hi-Fi theme CLI. Also, how you can uh, publish a theme. Okay, so if we cancel this by Control C, then we can change our publish theme as well by using this command line. So to do that, we can use this command try by theme publish and publish so as you can see the refresh is unpublished and the drone is published as we know so if you want to publish this refresh then we can do it okay. secondly i'm not going to do it i'm just showing you so that's all the basic things you need to know for shareify theme cli and you can use to develop your theme in your code editor and you can just push this thing to Shopify. So this is how the CLI is working. In the next video I'm going to talk about how you can integrate your theme with GitHub and connect that with your Shopify store. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.